The big news right now, it's looking like Kerry Joseph, former Eskimos backup quarterback and one-time Riders starting quarterback, will uh, start for the Rough Riders on Sunday. And he was signed earlier this week. So uh, that is intriguing news. It is. I think it's a uh, – I don't know how well it will translate on the field, but I think it makes for a great story. He – you know, I think everybody remembers uh, 2007, Joseph leading them to the Grey Cup. Uh, you know, was kind of on top of the football mountain for a long time, or for that season anyway, and then very quickly he's traded to Toronto, ended up in Edmonton for, for three seasons, uh, a chunk of the 2010 season, very the very, very end of it. And, uh, you know, it, it didn't go very well for him here in Edmonton. And he, you know, I think he felt, he, he'd said after he had retired the at the end over the winter, that you know he felt disrespected in his time in Edmonton, and that he, he never really got a fair shot at that starting job. You think about uh, the 2012 season, the aftermath of the Ricky Ray trade, and uh, Joseph probably did beat out Stephen Giles for that starting job, but the the optics of the situation kind of didn't allow for uh, anyone but Stephen Giles to be the starter that season. And you know by the time Joseph came in, they were already on the downslide, and the the, the team never really recovered. I think they won seven games that year and squeaked in as a, a crossover team and. Uh, you know, that led to Joseph's last official start uh, was that, that 2012 playoff game in Toronto, which was just a, a slaughter. And, uh, you know, I think he was pulled to the half and they were, they were just getting trounced. And, uh, you know, I think, I think since then he's, he had been a backup and had kind of a, I think they wanted more of a locker room presence for him. They kind of wanted him to be sort of a player coach type figure there. And he did that and I think he was good at it. But, you know, I think whenever you talk to him, you always got the feeling that he wanted more and that he felt like he was capable of more. And uh, so I think in a lot of ways, this is a, a great opportunity for him I think like I said it's a great story um, you know if, if he can come out this week if he does get the start and play well and you know maybe exercise some demons against the Eskimos it's part of it what makes it such a great story for Joseph and I think what makes it so interesting is that he's really walking into the perfect situation I mean they need a veteran quarterback you can see that since Darian Durant's gone out I think they're one and four without him and you know those younger guys have shown spurts but haven't been able to put a consistent game together and, and kind of just give them what they need offensively uh you know on paper it could work you know I, I think you get an experienced veteran quarterback he knows his offense that that rider's offense well because it's very similar to what edmonton ran here last year you, you look at it like i said a veteran quarterback um he's got a great o-line they have a good run game when they can figure out who they they want to utilize against you they've got three good options there at running back and never mind weston dressler and weston dressler i mean that's there, there are a lot of pieces there for you know, a quarterback that knows what he's doing and can just step in, presumably, to just step right in and, and, and do a lot of damage. So it's interesting. I, th I think uh, Kerry hasn't really played in over a year. I mean, if you look, he's in for spurts last season. But um, this, this, it, it'll be – it's a great opportunity for him, and really, like, he couldn't ask for a, a better scenario. They, uh, the Eskimos get this win. They've got the season series. They're in a great position to clinch in a, the, the following week, and it's really – it's in their hands after that. Uh, the Riders need the win just to – close ground on Edmonton and they need, they need to keep winning with presumably with Kerry Joseph back in there to kind of get them through until Darian Durant comes back from the elbow surgery and is ready to go and Durant was at practice yesterday too for the Riders and uh, I think Murray McCormick had written that he he didn't throw but he was on the field he had his helmet on he was kind of getting him getting his feet wet again I guess and get, getting a feel for the offense and 